Lecture 5, Importing Assets. Hello everyone, we are back and in today's video we are going to talk about ways to import assets to build your game or to build any scene you want. Now there are two different ways, oh, there are many different ways, but we are going to focus on two of them. The first one is importing assets through or using the Unity Asset Store and the other one is importing the assets using the Assets Catalog, which is high-rise asset catalog. It's it's the easiest one among all other methods. There's another or external assets that you get from outside Unity or outside the higher base asset catalog that goes on or that comes from different websites. They usually come in a zip file where you can unzip them and then you just drag and put them in the in the in Unity or they come in Unity packages which you can basically import um, custom packages. Now, first thing, if you if you look at the created high res game and there's an asset catalog here but if you go to the asset catalog you can find all the assets that you want and if you search for them you can filter by categories or you can sort them by newest oldest but if you click on one of them and you click download it won't let you it says that you have to uh, download it using unity so the only way to download assets from the high res asset catalog is by using unity okay so let's head back to unity and start installing or importing assets from the um, Unity Asset Store at first. Okay, so in, in Unity, if if you were to install assets from the Unity Asset Store, why use an Unity Asset Store when we have high rise asset catalog? It's because each has different assets, and some of them has wider or like uh, has like a better collection or like a wider collection. And if if you wanna if you want to go to the asset catalog or the asset store, you can just go directly on Google and search for Unity Asset Store, or you can go to Window, and then I think it was asset store right here and this will open up for you because I think they stopped using yeah it's it's moved so you have to just click on search online and this will open up a new browser for you so if I drag my screen a bit here you will have to log in so you click on this little icon right here and then sign in now because I already have an account it signed me in but you have to create a new account and I believe you have created a new account before because you had to launch in the hub Okay, and here you can go to 3D, for example, and you can find a bunch of different assets that you can um, that you can choose from. But let's say you want to, for example, upload a, a skybox, right? So I go here, type skybox, and I'm going to show you a quick example on how to install them. I already have all of these, so I'm going to go with the customizable, customizable skybox. So I'm gonna click on it. Okay, it was authorizing me, okay. So right now, all you need to do is click on add to my assets. So you click add to my assets, you agree to the certain terms and services, and then this will pop up and then you hit open in Unity, open Unity editor, and this will take you to the package manager where you can manage and customize all your assets. You can see here that this is um, the asset that we just installed. So what you have to do is click on download. Once that's done, you click import and this window will open up for you. Now there are things that you can miss here or you don't have to include. For example, the PDF, this might just explain how things are done with the documentation. I don't want that, so I, un I uncheck it. I go all the way down. You can also uncheck the demo scenes, you don't need them, but you keep everything else. For example, if there's C sharp scripts that you don't need because we don't support them, you can uncheck them and then you click on port. And you can close this window, and you can also close this window. Right click, close. And right now, in the project panel, in the assets, you can see that these are our skyboxes that we installed. Right? I'm gonna teach you how to use them later, but this is just an example on how to use uh, the asset catalog. And um, there's one more, th one, more th one more thing. If if you find assets that are ping like that, what you need to do is you need to select all of them. Like click on any one and then hold shift, click on the last one, go to window, and then rendering, and then oops, rendering and then render pipeline converter. In here, click on check material upgrade, initialize converter, and convert assets. You can see now that they are back to normal. And this is because the assets or the material that it we were using or the, the shader is not supported. You have to convert them. This is the best way to do it. You will find a lot of pink assets on the Unity Asset Store. Now that's done. 
This is step one on how to import assets. Another step would be the asset catalog, which is the best one. So if you see here, you have asset catalog, or if you go to high rise, studio, and then there's asset catalog. But this is the easiest way to open it. You click on asset catalog, and this will open up. If you're not signed in to high rise, you have to sign in. Once you sign in, you can now install assets directly from here. You can see here that this says that this is a bundle. So for example, if it says this little icon right here, that means it's a bundle. And it says here, install pack. Or just install if it's a simple asset that doesn't have uh, more than one object inside of it. But let's say, for example, you choose to install the cute part. You can either install it from here or from here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the asset catalog and put it here in the project. And I'm going to install this cute part. And you can also see here they have multiple images that you can choose from or I can switch between. So install pack. Once that's done, what you can do is show asset or you can open pack. If you open pack, this will open up for you in a separate view where you can drag and drop all the assets that you want inside the scene. For example, let's say you want this trash bin, just drag it and put it in here. Simple as that. If you want this, you drag it and drop it in here and so on. There are so many th easy stuff that you can do with the assets catalog. I mean, you can build an entire game just using the asset catalog and you can just design the game however you want. Now that's all for Actually, let me just show you really quick how to import assets from external uh, packages. So, for example, I'm going to close this one for now. And I'm not sure why this is not loading, but okay, it's loaded. And you can see here that we have a bunch of different um, uh, filters that we are adding. And we're also adding prices and paths. So this is also good. And if you enable smart, this will show you the smart assets that has scripts in, in them. But that being said, let's move to importing custom or external assets. Um, let's say you have a Unity file, but you want to import it to Unity. What you can do is you can go to Assets, and then in here, Import Package, and then Custom Package. And this will take you to, to a file or folder where you can import external assets. Does that make sense? And you can just like click on it and then open and it will open up. You can see here that this is the format, it's unity package, so it's gonna be the dot unity package. I don't have anything right now to import, but this is just an example to show you how it's done. Yeah, I don't think I have any. Maybe I have here. I don't I'm not sure, but yeah, okay. So yeah, that's all for today's video. In the next video, we're going to cover a wider topic, which is the nav mesh to help you get started with the player movement and everything. So first build the world, use the assets find assets, you can find a bunch of them online, and I will see you in the next lecture.